shoes. I haven't gone to the mall to get some shoes or order them or anything, but I don't know if I can because I'm running out of money. Okay. Okay. You try and get some employment too. My bad, y'all. Now I got to come on here and do something, doing a damn selfie. So here it is. In a shocking turn of events, Shirley Strawberry, once the beloved co-host alongside Steve Harvey, has fallen on hard times. Reports confirm that she has lost her home in a legal battle to compensate for her husband's wrongdoings. The drama doesn't end there. Strawberry, renowned for her insightful advice on the Strawberry Letter segment, is now living a letter of her own, seeking resolution in her personal turmoil. Well, it was going okay. The police picked up my truck today. What truck? What do you mean, what truck? Like your you truck? truck? Yeah. What? Strawberry's journey alongside Harvey began in the early 2000s, where she became an integral part of his radio show in Los Angeles. Over the years, their friendship blossomed, but recent events have strained their once. Amicable relationship? Recently, a leaked prison phone call between Strawberry and her estranged husband, Ernesto Williams, exposed intimate conversations about Harvey's marriage to his wife, Marjorie Harvey. Seen her, but she looks good on her pictures. Oh, she ain't there? No, she's not there. If she was there, we probably wouldn't have been all over the house. <laughs> The fallout from his revelation has left Strawberry in dire straits, pleading with Harvey to give her another chance at work to settle her debts. However, Harvey remains silent, refusing even to engage in conversation after Strawberry's disparaging remarks about his wife. Join us as we delve deeper into the tangled web of drama surrounding Steve Harvey and Shirley Strawberry. Is there more to this story than meets the eye? And amidst the chaos, who is the true victim? Stay tuned as we uncover the truth behind the headlines. Uh, I have an affidavit. His wife um, is, a, is a person of some uh, public notoriety. Um, she asked... As we peel back the layers of the saga, it becomes increasingly apparent that Shirley Strawberry has been unwittingly caught in the whirlwind of her husband's deceit. The shocking revelations about Ernesto Williams have left both fans and friends reeling, shedding light on a dark underbelly of crime and deception. A million dollar fraud scheme and a lot of victims. This all happened through an alleged growth and coaching business. Part of it run on social media. Williams, known to some as Nesto, and his accomplice, Erica King, or Erica Hewley Rothschild, as she's also known, operated a sophisticated scam that preyed on individuals seeking to enhance their businesses and personal brands. Roswell police revealed disturbing details about their modus operandi, which involved preying on people's aspirations and trust essentially position themselves as experts in the fields of business growth, development, coaching, things of that nature. Under the guise of business consultants, Williams and King exuded charm and confidence, convincing their targets to part with substantial sums of money in exchange for their purported expertise. However, as investigations unveiled, these promises were nothing more than elaborate facades designed to conceal their true intentions. To request more and more payment, promising that those services and goods would be later provided, but never making good on those promises. The unraveling of the scheme began innocuously enough, with Roswell detectives initially probing into a case of rental fraud involving Williams and King. However, as they delved deeper into their financial transactions, a more sinister pattern emerged, exposing the magnitude of their fraudulent activities. And people paid good money for their services, but walked away with nothing. Police say, it was all a scam. During searches of Ernesto Williams's home, investigators stumbled upon evidence that revealed even more disturbing crimes. Among the shocking discoveries were videos involving minors, shedding light on the depravity of Williams's actions. Sources close to the investigation who chose to remain anonymous disclosed that these videos depicted heinous acts of exploitation and abuse, suggesting a dark and disturbing underbelly to Williams's criminal activities. The victims of these atrocities encompassed a wide spectrum, including vulnerable individuals who had unwittingly fallen prey to Williams's manipulative schemes. Shockingly, among the victims were even Shirley Strawberry's own grandchildren, adding a deeply personal dimension to the already harrowing revelations. He cannot be around Shirley's daughter, who is said to be a victim of his, Shirley's grandchildren, who are said to be victims of his. The discovery sent shockwaves through the community, leaving many grappling with the grim reality of the situation. Authorities, while remaining tight-lipped about the specifics of the ongoing investigation, emphasized the severity of the crimes uncovered within Williams' residence. The evidence we've collected paints a chilling picture of the extent of Williams' depravity, remarked a law enforcement official close to the case. Our primary focus now is on assuring justice for the victims and holding those responsible fully accountable for their actions. As details continue to emerge, speculation runs rampant about the extent of Williams' involvement and the potential implications for those connected to him. The revelations have cast a shadow over Shirley Strawberry's once idyllic life, raising questions about her knowledge of her husband's activities and the implications for her future. Initially, fans and sympathizers felt genuine pity for Shirley Strawberry, 
After all, she seemed to be the unwitting victim of her husband's nefarious deeds, blindsided by the shocking revelations about Ernesto Williams's criminal enterprises. It was a tale of unfortunate circumstances. A once-loving spouse turned out to be a perpetrator of heinous crimes, including the exploitation of minors. However, as the layers of the scandal continued to unfold, Shirley's actions began to paint a different picture. Despite the devastating truth about her husband's crimes, whispers from insiders and purported leaks from insiders and purported leaks from Ernesto's legal team hinted at a more complex narrative. It seemed Shirley's involvement in the aftermath of her husband's arrest wasn't as innocent as initially perceived. So her address doesn't become uh, common knowledge for for her public. Although she loves her public to death, she wants some some uh, private privacy occasionally as well. Sources close to the investigation disclosed alarming details suggesting Shirley's active participation in aiding Ernesto's escape from justice. Reports surfaced alleging that she attempted to post bail for her husband, a move that raised eyebrows and fueled speculation about her true intentions. But the most shocking revelation came when insiders claimed that Shirley orchestrated Ernesto's flight to Abu Dhabi, where Steve Harvey reportedly owns a lavish mansion. This turn of events left fans and those close to Shirley questioning her motives and character. Despite the gravity of her husband's crimes and the betrayal of his actions, Shirley's alleged complicity in aiding his escape raised troubling questions about her moral compass. Furthermore, revelations of Ernesto's extramarital affair with his accomplice, Erica King, only added another layer of complexity to the already convoluted saga. So amidst the chaos and scandal, Steve Harvey, Shirley's longtime colleague and friend, found himself embroiled in the drama. Initially, Harvey stood by Shirley, understanding the complexity of her situation and perhaps feeling a sense of responsibility for introducing her to introducing her to Ernesto years ago. However, the relationship took a sour turn following the leaked prison phone call, where Shirley made disparaging remarks about Marjorie Harvey. Uh, Marjorie has her own spa, her own workout room, and her own spa. And she could go in there and get um, massages. In the call, Shirley's words cut deep, suggesting a rift not just between her and Marjorie, but also between her and Steve. She alleged that Marjorie viewed them as the help and insinuated that Steve was intimidated, but Steve was intimidated by his wife. Damn. Wow. She, she looks at us as the help. You know, you did tell me that. That's not a good feeling. Yeah. These revelations sent shockwaves through their professional and personal circles, leading many wondering about the true dynamics at play behind closed doors. Shirley's subsequent public apology to Steve and Marjorie attempted to quell the firestorm, but the damage had been done. Steve, while expressing empathy for Shirley's situation, couldn't overlook the betrayal of trust. He made it clear that while he understood the challenges in her personal life, certain lines had been crossed. All right, I got to take some time to address this here. In response, Steve addressed the situation on his radio show, delicately defending his marriage while acknowledging Shirley's emotional apology. Let me say this to you, Shirley. He began, his tone measured yet firm. We have known about this right after it happened, but we can't get in nobody's marriage. Like, girl, what are you doing? What are you feeling? But we didn't want to talk about it. Despite his attempts at understanding, Steve's disappointment was palpable. The once close relationship between him and Shirley seemed irreparably damaged, with Steve distancing himself from his former co-host, both professionally and personally. As Shirley Strawberry grapples with the fallout from her husband's crimes and the subsequent loss of her home, her financial woes only seem to worsen. Reports surface indicating that legal proceedings are taking a significant toll on her finances, leaving her in dire straits. And I said, well, what are you going to do with my truck? What does my truck have to do with this? They said it's for the victims. They, they need it to, to pay back the victims, some of the victims. In a desperate attempt to salvage her situation, Shirley seeks to reconnect with Steve Harvey, hoping for a lifeline amidst her mounting debts and homelessness. Get your ass out of here. Sources close to Shirley reveal that she is actively reaching out to mutual acquaintances in a desperate bid to appeal to Steve for reinstatement on the show. With her back against the wall, Shirley hopes that a return to the radio waves will not only provide a means to pay off her debts, but also offer a semblance of stability in her tumultuous life. However, rumors swirl that while Steve harbors sympathy for Shirley's plight, his hands are tied by the influence of his wife, Marjorie Harvey. According to insiders, Marjorie vehemently opposes any notion of Shirley rejoining the show, citing betrayal and irreparable damage to their trust. Despite Steve's inclination to extend a helping hand, Marjorie's adamant stance effectively shuts down any possibility of Shirley's return. The power dynamics within the Harvey household seem to dictate Shirley's fate, leaving her stranded in a sea of uncertainty. In the wake of these developments, Shirley's situation appears increasingly dire, with her house seized to compensate her husband's victims and her financial resources depleted. She finds herself teetering on the brink of despair. Oh, and they said they're going to get my um, wedding ring, too. 
What are you talking about? The once vibrant co-host now faces an uphill battle for survival, grappling with the repercussions of her husband's actions and the consequences of her own choices. As we witness the unfolding saga of Shirley Strawberry's tumultuous journey, we're left with burning questions. What do you think lies beneath the surface of this scandal? Who bears the true weight of victimhood amidst the chaos? Share your thoughts and insights in the comments below. Until next time, stay tuned, stay informed, and stay engaged. Your participation fuels the conversation, and we can't wait to hear from you.